It was just last month when thousands gathered at the Butler Fairgrounds to hear former President Trump speak. What happened shortly after he took the stage now lives on infamously. You know, Butler will be forever on the map. 57-year-old David Dutch, 74-year-old James Copenhaver, and 50-year-old Corey Comparator were all shot at the rally. Comparator was killed. The Not Red, Not Blue, Red, White, and Blue event gave the community a chance to come to heal together. To come together as a community to support one another as we figure out where to go from here, recognizing that above all, we need to go there together. There were vendors from the Butler and surrounding areas, live music, trivia, and speakers who were at the July 13th rally. All of the proceeds from the event went to charities chosen by the families of those injured and killed in the rally. The charities chosen were Cabot Alliance Church, Westmoreland Marine Corps League, and Wounded Warrior Foundation. Veterans organizations holding close to David Dutch, who we're told is now back in the hospital for the third time. Dutch, Jake, from the VFW in Laura Burrell. We host DJ trivia at the VFW. Scott Wolf also remembering the impact Corey Comparator had on not only him, but their community. Corey's been a a trophy to this community as far as firefighting and parenting. Everyone in attendance saying they came out for the same goal, to show support behind the families and prove just how tight-knit the Butler community is. We the people need to uh, stand together and not divide and heal. And now hoping events like this can carry on beyond just this community. And if this can take off across the Commonwealth as a not red, not blue, red, white, and blue event, so be it. I'd be happy to see it. And that was Yasmin Rodriguez reporting. Now this past week, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 anchor Michelle Wright spoke exclusively with the family of Corey Comparator. You can see that whole interview on our website right now, WTAE.com, and on our free WTAE mobile app.